jewels in the sky They guide me right And when it gets dark I shine my light Thank you for the view in me I see I see I see When I came out of high school, I had like uh, a lot of opportunities um, to go play professionally. But um, talking to my parents, I decided like I need education. One of my main goals was uh, for them to pay for my education, and uh, if they would pay for my education, maybe I would be still in Latvia. But um, I wanted I wanted to have education. I have I wanted to have something that I have after I play, I'm, I'm done playing basketball. So we see a lot of these. Um, young players that finish high school or some of them don't even finish, especially in Europe. Um, and um, after that they just go play basketball and never finish, some, some of them never finish high school and never start college. And I think college um, gives you a lot of critical thinking. Education is just good for you. The transfer was really hard because um, I loved all the guys there, and it just, but it, it wasn't like Wisconsin Park State wasn't the right fit for me. We won the GLVC championship, and obviously I wasn't really, I wasn't playing that much. I wasn't really uh, satisfied with my role on the team. Purdue Cal is. I would say it's a better fit for me because I have a better relationship with the coach. Um, I really like here. I, f I feel loved and I feel like just people want me here. When I first came to campus, like coach took really good care of me. He showed around. Uh, I met uh, our athletic director, Rick Costello. He showed really big interest and I really felt like uh, they want me here. At first, when, when, when first I came to the United States, it was really hard. The first six six months probably were the hardest ones. It would be like so hard that I would like sometimes punch the walls and like because it's just so emotional when you're like in uh, uh, this different environment and uh, everything is new, like all the cultural differences. So I didn't have any friends by that time, and um, I'm not the most social guy, so I was not into like making friends like um, friends like really fast so that was yeah like being away for the first six months was probably the hardest coach Wodry and i uh got in touch um by one of the players um his name was casper Brinkins. he graduated last year so he was one of my good, really good friends back from latvia and this one day we started talking and he said you know what you know what will be fun we'll be fun to play together again so word for word, it started like a joke and then it just kind of involved and, and I, I came here. Well, the biggest determinator for me to stay here or go back to Latvia is probably going to be the situation with, um, with the paperwork, with visa and, uh, and all that stuff. But, um, I, I, I would really like one day to have business here in the U.S. So that will allow me to go back and forth. So I, I see a lot of opportunities here in the United States and um, uh, I will try to pursue that as one of my, as one of my goals. My proudest moment was probably when I, uh, when I started um, understanding and, um, and appreciating the things I have around me, um, the things what um, Coach Waldry and uh, Rick has ga have gave me they have gave me the opportunity to play at this school. So um, I would say uh, before before that I didn't really appreciate uh, where I was, and I thought like things come pretty easy. But uh, being here at Purdue, I started appreciating where I am and uh, appreciating the people that are around me and that have given me the opportunity to to be here.